everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. On to some off-kai news, because I had mentioned a rumor in a previous episode about, you know, the stuff that was going on here. And this is not Kurosanji related, but it seems like some effery has been happening in off-kai towards FaZe. And I wanted to ask if anyone has more info here. We have some internal miscommunications regarding the streaming in a Phase Connects panel, resulting in unintended broadcast and poor stream experience. As always, we appreciate your friends at Phase. Now, this is coming after the rumors and the accusations of uh, there being some rogue uh, volunteers. It's not necessarily Afkai themselves doing it, but rogue volunteers that want to sabotage different groups of people. And that is the problem that happens when you have rogue volunteers. A lot of speculation is running around. Of course, like I said, it's speculation, it's rumor. And uh, there's a lot of rats going on as well. It's just speculation and rumor. Uh, remembering the year, honestly surprised it just happened for now. Uh, what the hell is going on over there? Uh, hang on, did FaZe pay, pay for merchant tables? They paid for merchant tables, they paid for things like that. So like I'm saying, Off Kai as an organization would never want this to happen. Just making it clear for you guys. But the same way that Kersha was banned because of volunteers not being comfortable, volunteers are giving way too much power in Off Kai, in my opinion. And they have the power to do these types of things because they can make it a quote unquote tech issue if they wanted to by just messing around with things. And like I'm saying, I'm believing more it is a rogue employee, a rogue volunteer, instead of it actually being off Kai doing this, of course. And it says what the mod said about Face Connect Stream, just leaving it here for easy access. This puzzle guy asked, and why did we get a single 10 performance and wait like 10 minutes and then get a random short talking segment? Phase that is pretty good. I'm just really confused. Phase's decision, according to them. It was Phase's decision. We have to see if Phase is going to say anything about this. But yeah, supposedly it's their decision. There's some people found that Twitch X mods profile. He's definitely the worst a pipi pipa ante, but not a good look. Volunteers need background checks. That's what I'm talking about. Like this person is is getting, you know, it's basically off -kai mod is responsible for the Twitch S show that blamed FaZe, by the way. Kersha Verstal was canary in the coal mine. Hard for cons to be picky about who they take as volunteers. But giving these small tyrants any degree of power is insane. Of course. Take it with a grain of salt. What cute little rabbit girl. I wonder what her opinions and minorities are. Ah, oh no. So this person is an anti for Pippa. People really need to stop giving neo-Nazis grifters like this much of a stage. The space ain't gonna suck real life uh, real soon. Of course, I'm complaining about anti-white racism. Is the end with, without featuring clips, including actual jokes. Um, a lot of people, uh, awful lot of neo-blanks in Twitter. This person is just saying, trying to, it just seems like they're trying to, um, say buzzwords for all this stuff you know what i mean imagine throwing random fuel into a fire just by lying because you can legitimately tired of people like you so basically yeah this person's a kind of an anti on this whole thing and again uh pushing all the stuff again and you know this person that was a mod for uh the phase connect stream so that does not give a good look to off kai at all for having volunteers like this update on a lot of the information that we have on off kai if you remember, I did mention that Offkai had a situation where it had rogue mods, rogue uh, volunteers, rogue people that were not following directions properly, that were trying to sabotage people properly. Like I said before, I don't think this is Offkai the main people, but it could very well be because we don't know how far this goes up. It could be, it could not be. I'm not going to say it is because I don't have the information to say it is. Now, as we know, we had this whole thing where, you know, the mod was like, oh, it's FaZe's decision to run like 10 minutes of not of, of ads and then have uh, things just pop back up. But according to this, uh, this the, the person who was the mod is a big Pippa hater, as we know, as we showed last time. And they're saying here, here's the thing. Uh, Twitch, not all mods are the same. Regular mods have mod functionality. Some of them have stronger mod, uh, mod powers. Uh, editor, all mod powers can queue ads and things. So maybe they had the person had editor status and that's why they did it. Ads that many trigger the channel owner mods is usually the ad breaks the Twitch streamer did. Depends on the streamer itself when they're going to start or the mods or the ads or taking a break. They can start it at any point in time. In this case for Offkai, uh, either people don't use ad block or they, you know, they had the ad block not working for uBlock. Uh, saying it's phase decision, it kind of confirms that they actually manually started the ads. Yes, this person kind of outed themselves by saying it's a phase decision. They, they outed themselves as uh, someone who probably manually started the ads. This is just an addendum to my last thing that I put because I wanted to add this information in there. We didn't have all this information at the time. When I first 
recorded the video. Now we have a bit more uh, understanding. Understanding any form of engagement in generated from off Kai is good for FaZe. If the performance went well, FaZe gets engagement and pat on the back. Off Kai gets so much better stuff. Thanks to Sabotage, FaZe will get engagement. X, we're, uh, we're talking about it right now. And Sympathy, because they got sabotaged. In many ways, being a victim of sabotage is even better in the event going well. Because things went well even with the sabotage. So that's the thing. That's the thing that they have to worry about now. Off Kai has uh, can if FaZe can capitalize this, Off Kai has to send out an apology. So Off Kai is going to be looking worse versus the Kirsha situation with volunteers pretty much making it so she couldn't go. Now we have this where volunteers are screwing the pooch when it comes to other things. Wanted to give you guys as much information as I can. Thank you again for being around here. And now we're moving on to something positive with Scarla. Scarla is someone that I have seen does not really have any. Like negative things happening with her she's doing amazing things she's stayed out of all of the needy sanji en stuff luckily for her a new outfit reveal moderate announcement let's see uh compared to everyone else in EGT en she's a hell of a money maker scar's biggest plus is that she lives to interact with her chat that's why she generally loves to stream and cannot bring herself to take regular breaks also means that her streams are very personal and interactive finite devotion develops a devoted community that's what i try to do i try to interact with fans too so, you know, basically taking uh, examples from her. Holy crap, she made $1,000. That's a lot. Uh, she ends up getting somewhere around maybe 30, 40% of that. So she's making around 400 bucks for herself overall. Still good. And the uh, the viewers, 5,300. That's really good for her. For her numbers, it's really good. Of course, you had some people moving up and then it went back down. Maybe after the outfit was revealed, a lot of people were like, oh, I saw the outfit and they leave. That's normal. That happens. But of course... Uh, there's a lot of um, money coming in, which is very good. The Super Chats, new members. She had good member drops as well, and she had um, a lot of Super Chats. So that helped her out a lot. I'm very glad about that. And here we have her new outfit. Of course, the thighs, the booba, everything is just, that's her new outfit. Looks like lingerie, negligee, whatever it is. But uh, low pixel screenshots, see internet problems. Scarlett has two new models, her, three, her third outfit. I'm happy for her. I'm very happy that she has this going on. Be honest, the Disandi doesn't deserve Scarlett. I, I truly, truly agree with this. I respect this woman's streaming, stamina, and energy. She does have some drama, but it's incredibly dumb kind. It's a Starbucks one. It's really dumb. It really doesn't make any sense. It really shouldn't even be that way. But own, unfortunately, it is that way. Uh, crazy that Niji Sanji is relying on the guys when they do have sexy women. They do have women that can do things like this. I'm really, really happy for Scarlet. That's why I wanted to put this here. You all may think that I only like to look at Niji Sanji's bad stuff, but Niji Sanji JP's unofficial Nintendo Switch Smash Brothers tournament got 675k. So 75k, if that's a CCV, that is very, very good. And that's really good. 30k would be a flop, but 75k is really good. Especially since they got more CCV than last year's. Yeah, it did better than last year, 55 to 60k. It's not like the normal stream. I had 61 talents. Still, Miko, Captain Tsubaki at 40k average each. And add Aqua. Uh, and you have half of Niji JP. That's true. You do. But still, I mean, you have other people, yes, doing more for their, their, their cup. But this one's like a yearly cup thing, of course. This one up here, from what it seems like, is the unofficial Nintendo Smash Bros. tournament. So, it's kind of apples to oranges a little bit there. Tournament was good. Even Sakurai mentioned it. It's what you would call a rare Niji W. That's why I'm putting it out here. I do put Niji Ws on occasion. I do try to make sure I am balanced and fair because I don't want to be like other people who are just anti, anti, anti all the time. Of course, I'm always seen that way, but I want to, you know, show some good stuff. Add the individual stream of JP Livers who participated in the tournament. There was some, there's more than 75k views when combined with Yusei's stream. Yeah, when you combine everybody's stream, it's probably going to be more, but at the very least, the main stream was 75k so that's a win and I'll, I'll give them the win when they have one a bit of quick sayu news and all this thing right now you're looking at regis altair uh other people from face connect following sayu these are all the people that follow sayu face connect pretty much all of face connect follow sayu holy crap but uh regis altair it's basically a explanation that hollow stars are more open to collab with other organizations and other people look what happened with doki and the wrestle tuber thing of course they're they're trying to you know collab with more people PL gifted subs a few months ago. Probably were friends before it was in Hollow Stars. Definitely do as Zion. She mentioned Altair directly about the Genshin Impact stories. And Altair was in the chat as well. Then Altair's, Altair's PL uh, appeared in one of Sayu's birthday subathons. So didn't say to do a hilarious uh, plate up collab in his PL. Yeah, so the PL is someone that, that supports uh, Sayu. And here is Sayu. Something posted on her ex. So don't don't think that it's, you know, you know anybody trying to um, fully, you know, Dox her or whatever. She covered her face. Uh, she has 
uh, basically showing that her her uh, her pop up her standee is even shorter than her. So she's short, but the standee is even shorter. And that's uh, you know Sayu just having look, look at the I mean the outfit she has is really cute. It's a really cute outfit. Love it. I'm glad she had fun at Offkai. It seems like she really did. Could we meet her IRL and went undercover? Yes, she's done IRL meets before at other cons. I'll come the F on. Someone broke the Sayu car. Did someone break the Sayu car? She didn't have bad luck. I'd almost think she'd have no luck at all. Ah, my car got broken into and they stole my empty bag, but it was a collab bag and my favorite one. What the F, man? I swear I'll find you. I'll crush each one of your toes with my teeth. <laughs> Everyone says, uh, yeah, basically. Everyone says it's common, but it's not because it's California. Come on, guys. You all act like you've never seen a city before. It's literally a big city issue. It's like any big city has that, Detroit, any other big city. I went somewhere I don't usually a super big and kind of ghetto, but my whole life living here has never happened to me until now. So unfortunately, we have more Sayu news. Some of it positive, some of it not so much. But it, at least, at least she's safe. At least a lot of things weren't stolen. It was just a, a collab bag that was empty. It is a sad day when um, truth is being shuttered down when freedom of speech is being shuttered down and what i mean by this is jp truth media's closed social account uh last tweet was don't give in to injustice last tweet i saw was this we have received tremendous support especially from foreign countries although we are alone in japan we have been able to walk to this day with your support we will never forget the connection across the sea thank you very much the drama will end this is why we can stand this is why we can run, run out of energy don't give in to injustice from all of us in the management. And the reason is P2Y.JP recently got um, attacked. There was recently an attack against them. Uh, we won't let Black Company win. And um, there was an issue where um, the main site got affected. The main site got uh, damaged. And um, it's basically, they ended up shuttering their account, as you can see here. P2Y.JP no longer exists when it comes to their uh, their social media account. These guys will move on to a new website, but I'm not sure until it become a real thing. My recollection of seeing the tweet was that they will move on to move some people to a different new site, but it will be run differently, will not be a successor site, and will not carry over the scandalous reporting. So basically, they probably got a cease and desist. They probably got like uh, a big threat of being sued by Nidhi Sanji. That's what it looks like. When Lu Hadong, comrade of Sun Yet San, blah, 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 was arrested by King government instead of giving up his comrades, he wrote, Despite we failed today, I am consoled. I can be killed, but those that raise up cannot be cannot be blanked. Which is then made famous mid idiom. Even if you kill one of me, there are tens of thousands of me. They're gone for good. At least P2Y.JP is gone for good. Whether the rogue hacking attack they eventually had left anything to do with any cutter remains a mystery. They were good. I mean, they actually had good reporting. But unfortunately, sometimes things like this happen. And in order to become viable and to do well, they have to sometimes move on, which is unfortunate for P2Y.JP. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? I'm becoming a squirrel filled with numbers. Here we have the biggest VTubers of January 2024, January through May. Uh, and here we have the full numbers. And it is, of course, Pekor at the very top. And Kuzul has is right, right beneath her, which is really, really good for him. Really good for him. I mean, it's it's a rare Niji W. It's a big Niji W on the top 10. They only have, well, they only have their main channel and Kuzuha. And the rest are Miko, uh, Koyori, Subaru, Aqua. Looks like that one is Okayu. Uh, Bibu looks like possibly. And also... Uh, you have Fubuki. So there, those are rounding up the top 10. But still, give a win where there's a win, of course. Pekora being the top in hours. And uh, Kuzuha being near her in hours. So that's that's very good. That's I'll, I'll give them the win on this one. Uh, says, damn, Pekora is a beast. I don't really watch the second guy, but he really is famous, huh? Happy to uh, see Bibu and Kyla there as well. Spearheaded Nidhi Sanji to complete a uh, Hololive domination. He and his group mate, literally two livers, can compete with Holomem on top charts. Yeah, it's Kuzuha. Kuzuha channel. Niji Sanji official channel is the second highest for the company. Uh, but from what I remember, Niji main channel is being used a lot as the channels to stream the big events. So that's why they're getting a lot of stuff. But that is a little bit of the numbers for you guys. And of course, the source is the VStats place over here on Twitter. That is the source that they have for it. Just to show you guys that it isn't just a, a copied, created one. He's actually there. There is always a certain amount of responsibility you have in... Uh, talking about these things, reacting to these things, saying anything that you need to say about these things. And you always have to treat people with respect, of course, because that is the bare minimum that should be uh, going through your mind when you're talking about people who are actually, you know, real people behind the mask. Uh, this person is uh, was reacting to Quinn when they were underage, when they were 16, and Quinn finally decided to talk about them in a stream and kind of, you know, give his thoughts about the whole situation. Underhill said Zion and Selene deserve what they got on their podcast and Evanito, but Evanito said that he didn't like how the company handled Selene, but that all three of them and agreed that Zion and Selene deserved it. This is a guy Quinn supports. F all of them. Disgusting. 
Correct me if I'm misremembering, but I don't think they agree that Sai and Selen deserve termination. It um, Basically, I thought termination firing was in line with typical Japanese businesses, so it may not be that they deserved it. Termination of someone reports internal problems to the company is justified. It's not. So yeah, they try to justify it. Underhill is someone who is uh, supposedly trying to push you know, positive things, and that's fine if they want to do that. Uh, but no one should ever think that uh, the Selen thing was normal in any way, shape, or form. Even for a corporation, yes, corporations are evil in a lot of ways. But uh, this is not something that should be ever normalized. Just going to have that before I give you guys the Quinn stuff. Okay, that's the only hint I'm going to give you. When I was a wee lad on Twitch.television, on this account actually, I want to say like five, six years ago maybe, one of you guys who is now a VTuber reactor, who reacted to my clips and my old job, reacted to me as a, as a tiny baby streamer at age 16. Mm -hmm. And what you did was like criminal, okay? This mother put my stream up on his stream. Like li I was live at the time, right? And I feel like if you're reacting to someone else's stream live and you're not friends with them, it's not a good idea. Because yeah, nine times out true. of ten, your viewers are gonna go into that person's chat and like harass them or that is that is a risk. That is they definitely don't already a risk. Have like that rapport where like people are more okay with that, and the chat is like you kind of have a shared audience if you're friends with people enough. Um, so your your chat will be respectful. But if you're some like weird reactor and you're just wa watching some random streamer that you've never spoken to, your chat's gonna go in there, especially if you're a bigger streamer. This dude wasn't that much bigger of a streamer. He had like maybe 50 viewers. I had like 20, okay, at the time. I don't even know if they still stream anymore. I don't know what they do. I don't keep up with them, okay? I hit do not recommend on their YouTube videos, especially when I saw them reacting to me now. And I'm like, did you forget what you did to me when I was like, you know, 16? So he was reacting to my stream. Um, And like back in this day, like his content was pretty much going into other people's chats, sending his community in there and getting them to like spam sh and try to get the person to like do something, you know? And, I'm and that's not good. That is all I'm going to put in there because it's a long eight minute clip. But, uh, Doing that is never good. It's good that Quinn called it out because that type of behavior is never good. Um, I don't go into people's streams like that. I don't, you know, react to people's streams live or anything like that. Sometimes I'll put like, oh, you know, just seeing what Gura is doing, that type of thing. But I will never, you know, I don't like having a community that will push people, you know, to have negative things happen. And that's what I want to push as well. Don't go and harass anybody, not even Quinn, if you just, if you disagree, not Underhill, not anybody. A little bit of the Doki, Doki Bird playlist here, just giving you a little bit of a, uh, you know, proof that this is her actual playlist right here uh, on YouTube. This is her actual playlist, Sundial, Grass, all that kind of, all these things here. Uh, the um, Hell's Greatest Dad, Sing Along, Original, Reflect from Gargura, all those types of things. So she's she has a lot of interesting things here. Uh, streaming playlist on the streamer's YouTube channel, means it was created by the channel owner. Uh, it's not created by the channel owner a lot of times, it's things that they've seen. Um, use some help from the big bird of WrestleTuber herself. But yeah, I think it's Doki is curious. Oh, it might be a curated playlist. It might just be what they watched. She has had that playlist since probably forever. At least it existed when I started following her in February. So yeah, it's it's a playlist that she's created herself. It's kind of nice to see the things that she's watched and she kind of uh, wants to have people take a look at when it comes to her curated play playlist. Things that she's re recommending. Uh, you know, the Natsumi and Lily Pichu, Summertime cover, all that type of stuff. It's fun. It's good. It's, it's a nice little positive thing here for you guys. So this is the beginning of the meme one, even though, of course, Mochi is not a, not a meme and Tenjin's not a meme, but their, their collab ended up being a meme because she said that Tenjin was her cousin. I don't think it's actually her cousin. It could be. could be like a Mooner's brother situation. It'd be that kind of thing. They're actually related. If they are actually related, it's the first I've heard of it. But yeah, it's a, it's a, I'm taking it as a meme at this point. Uh, also, you have the Gura meme here, which is... Uh, your newly debuted Niji and talent, the, the quote unquote Gura killer that they always want. And there's the Gura up there, huge, with uh, Fauna right in front of her. So you're fighting them both. You're not going to be able to beat them, of course. Ah, this one is a fate worse than, than passing away. Watching Niji Sanji Ien until I laugh. And of course, you know, watching the, the, the quote unquote funny moments for this person. Unending, persistent pain. <laughs> pain, Peko. Pain, Peko. Uh, and also, you have this one right here. Uh, how does Nidhi Sanji hope to beat this? I mean, just with the, the cuteness of that little, uh, you know, tie in the front, the little hair tie in the front tying her bangs, that already beats anything that Nidhi Sanji has to throw at them. The memeing it up, of course, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of taste of this. Bit of a shocker to some people. I mean, it's a shocker to me uh, that I, if you remember during the, um, the meme time, I did mention, or I will mention, that... Uh, she mentioned that Tenjin is a cousin of hers. She found out in a strange way. She's going to mention it right now. So Michi Mochi V slash Mika Melatika uh, has a cousin, which is Tenjin slash Bonavir Pranaja. Well, the ex Bonavir Pranaja. And she's going to explain exactly how this went through. Swear I did clickbait you guys. I actually have. Remember uh, that yeah. one time I told chat that I have a. 
<laughs> this is so weird to finally say. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a big announcement after all. Hey, we're we're coming. We're, uh... we're coming out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are we doing? What are we doing? No. Okay. No. Back to the announcement. Back whoa, to the, go back to it. Don't throw it off. Don't throw it off the bridge. Do not throw it off the bridge. Say it. Say it. I want to hear the you say it. Where go? It's not detecting on my OBS. You're, you're leaving me. I see. I see. Okay, guys. So Naru. you haven't even introduced yourself. They don't even know who the fuck you are. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hello, chat. My name's Tenjin. Good to see you. <laughs> wow. No way. What the I'm fuck do we call streamer. you? You call me yeah. Tenjin or Jin, whichever you like. No or way. My honey. Aya. Uh, <laughs> oh. <ew. ew. laughs> Wait yeah, a that, minute. Okay, let, let's you can't do that. do that because now <laughs> the thing I will say will sound very weird. What? You, because you oh, said yeah. you can call me okay. like you can call okay. me your honey. Okay, no, no. Okay. I can do that, bro. I'll do that. No, I'll no, do that no, to you yes, right you will now. do that. Do not, no, no, please don't. I'm leaving. If you if you say that, I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. I'm not even. I'm stopping the stream. You can blame. <laughs> Who are you again? <laughs> say, hey, you haven't said anything to my stream. Oh Who yeah. Add characters. I just became a YouTuber like yesterday. Your Ow. current compatibility modes. Try closing, removing the compatibility. What the fuck? I told you guys that I have like a special Let's someone. That okay? Now you're just making it weird. No. A special <laughs> someone. That's that means a lot deep down in my heart. Yes. <laughs> oh god, yeah, making yes. it weird. Uh, so this is Tenjin. This is also, mm -hmm. unironically, my cousin. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm, a cousin. <laughs> cousin. I'm, a, I'm a VTuber as well. Good to see you guys. So Bonavir Pranaja was her I cousin. It. Is her Finally, cousin. I can say yeah. it out loud. That's a plot twist. That is, <laughs> it is a big plot twist. I don't know this before. I mean, how would they know, right? But How would they know? No one yeah, how, how would they I know? mean, I just... Yesterday... This I is like think, a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I recognize this. <laughs> not seeing you in a family meeting. It's crazy. That's nuts! That's... <laughs> I don't. I, I don't want to recognize this. <laughs> Not seeing you in a family meeting. Isn't Hell. it nuts? I don't know if anyone. Like obviously, we've known for a while. For a oh, very, they knew for a while then. Okay. Unhealthy amount. Well, they couldn't but, say yeah. it, of course. I guess maybe How Sanji cool prevented them from chat? saying it. You to have an actual... And I'm not kidding. This is not even like, oh, lore-wise, we're related. Lord, no. This They're actually blood-related. Blood-blood. They're blood-blood-related. Or parent-cousin. One of my parents... Yeah. Yeah. Cousins, mm -hmm. I think. I think, like... First cousins? There's my parent. Yeah, my parent is your really. parent... Cousin. Well, oh, it's one of those things. Yeah, parent is parent cousin, but still blood related. Much, but we're cousins. That's just how easy it it's is. just cousins. Isn't it's crazy? like second cousins or first no cousins way. once removed or some BS like that, but it's cousins. Oh, it oh, man. What do you mean it runs in the family? Someone said, All I see it runs in the family. What does? All the best, Michi. <laughs> The weirdness, I guess, Chat, runs in the family? So with you. No one in this family runs, okay? I think that's where all our issues come from. <laughs> no, oh, there we are. So there we go. Didn't want to make it too long for you guys, but, you know, give you guys that they have really good chemistry, and it makes sense now since they're cousins, and they've known for a very long time. It was probably something Nidhi Santi didn't want them to spread out. And another thing, they could have had a full Moko situation there with the cousins, even if it was a male and female. They could have done that, but they only wanted to do that after Advent came out, of course. So they screwed the pooch in so many ways. This could have been something good. It could have been something that they could have used for money-wise if they really wanted to. But as we know, Anidhi Sanji doesn't know how to do jack squat when it comes to that. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.